On Monday and Tuesday, we introduce you to John Franzese. He's a former mobster who testified against his own father and now lives right here in Indianapolis. And tonight, why Franzese decided to leave the witness protection program and go public about who he is. After testifying against his mob boss father, John Francis entered into the witness protection program and was placed here in Indianapolis. In Indianapolis, the people here helped me grow up in a different way that I, I don't think I ever would have. He made friends and developed a routine. Then in 2017, someone at a recovery meeting recognized him and posted about it on social media. Not too long after, the FBI wanted to move him. Take nothing, not even my cat. I was not leaving anything I loved behind. I already left my family, left my friend, left my life. I'm not doing that anymore. This cat and I and my friends here mean too much for me. I'm, I don't, I've been there, done that. John would leave witness protection and started to be more open about his real identity. I'm not going to do that. I, I'm not saying you don't get those thoughts. And sometimes I get squeamish, but they, they go and most 99% of my life is, uh, I don't think about that. Eventually, his story made it to a local sports reporter. It was the hardest thing I've ever done professionally because, you know, I'm used to being in the Colts locker room and talking to players, and I know that world very well. This is a world I didn't know well. Wish TV Colts insider Zach Kiefer was writing for the Indy Star when he was assigned John's story. The two would meet every day for the next several months. I mean, this was stuff straight out of the movies. It really was. There were times when I had to ask him, are you sure you want this story written? Am I putting you in danger? Am I putting myself in danger? We don't know who's going to read this and who's going to find out where you are and what their response is going to be. And how long they're sober. John was ready. He wanted his story to be out there. And it was during this time that John's father, notorious mob boss Sonny Franzese, was released from prison and John decided to go back to New York to see him, to look his father in the eyes, the man who he helped put back behind bars. It was getting very real. What am I going to tell this man? And tomorrow night, how that meeting went and John's father's reaction to seeing him for the first time since John helped put him away. And a reminder, if you would like to watch the first two installments of this ser series, head on over. WishTV.com.